Hello guys, recently someone asked me if I know any package about Laravel internal messaging, something like inbox here. So I can send a new message to someone, choose the recipient, something, something, submit, and then I get the message from that someone. And I remembered an old package, this one, Laravel Messenger. It was created a long time ago with 2000 stars already, but still works in Laravel 8 and it comes from Chris Gmir. And side note, I know him not only as a Laravel developer, but also on Spotify. I have a favorite playlist from Chris called Deep Work. So I do recommend if you want to concentrate, the playlist is over 24 hours. So this is how I get into my deep work. Okay, back to Laravel. So package Laravel Messenger. And I asked my colleague Nerius to create a demo project with that based on Laravel Breeze. So basically it's a default Laravel Breeze. If I log out, I register and I will use fake filler Chrome extension. I register and the only thing is added to the Breeze is the messages section. And again, let's try to add a new message to someone. Let's choose Dorothy and we will log in as that Dorothy. So we log out, log in as that Dorothy and see that we have seven new messages. So we can go to messages. Some of those messages are from my older testing, but you can click test message, you can reply, you can submit, or you can delete the message, for example, and stuff like that. So pretty simple, of course, it may be expanded to much more complicated like Gmail-like stuff, but here's a simple example how to use that Laravel Messenger, and let's dive into the code. So interesting thing about that Laravel Messenger package, it's not specifically for one-to-one -one conversations. You can use that package in various different ways. So here are the features, but here are common uses. So you can use it as an open thread, like a forum, group messaging, like a Slack channel, or one-to-one -one messaging, how we did it in this demo video. And to use that package, all you need to do is add messageable in your user model or whoever is sending the messages. And here are a few examples from the package itself. So controller is for messages and then you can, for example, get all latest thread, find or fail for thread. So there is a model thread and database table. So here are the messages and here are the threads, including my own testing ones from earlier. And then there are participants. So third table, again, including the testing ones with soft deletes. So I deleted the message as you saw earlier. And basically everything happens in those three tables. So in our case for Laravel Breeze, we added these routes. So get the messages, then create, post, and then view the thread. And then the messages controller looks something like this. So you work with the thread model provided by the package and there are different helpers and scopes that makes your code a bit easier to read. So thread for user is a scope. So thread is a model from that package. So you can see I'm in vendor folder now. And if we search for scope for user, it is queried by user ID of logged in user, in our case, auth ID. So we're getting the threads with amount of messages and we need amount of messages to filter out the messages which I've sent myself. So if the messages count is one and I'm the creator, then I shouldn't see that message in my inbox. Then show thread and when it's shown mark as red, it's also a method in the thread model from vendor. So you can track red or not red. Then you can create the message filtering out the users. Store is just creating a thread then creating a message for that thread and creating participant as myself because I'm participating in the conversation and I can reply and that recipient can reply too. So it's kind of an email conversation like in Gmail. So there are two participants, myself and recipient. Then there's update, which is adding new message basically. And there are methods like activate all participants, which means unread messages, new messages, and then destroy is just removing the participant, but the message is staying in the database. And that's it. So you can dive in deeper into documentation and methods of that Laravel Messenger official repository. And let me know, do you like this package or do you know any alternatives for other viewers? Maybe there's something better than this Laravel Messenger. Let me know in the comments. Speaking of better or potentially better alternatives, we have in quick admin panel generator. If you want to generate admin panel in the modules section, we have a module called internal messages, which is something similar to that free Laravel messenger. So I will demonstrate it to you internal messages. I just installed that module and don't configure anything else. 
it has generated the files. Then I click preview panel or I can download the panel as well. But I will just preview panel on our server. So it takes around a minute to run everything like composer install and PM commands and stuff like that. Okay, it is done. I continue and I can log in as an admin with admin com and password. And then I see on the left messages and then I can click new message and choose the recipient, which is no users. So let's create one user, add a user, fake filler Chrome extension. We save, then we go back to messages, new message. So recipient test and then something. And then I can go and delete the message, maybe reply. So I have inbox and outbox, something similar to what I've shown just now in the Laravel Messenger demo project. So if you want full admin panel generated with CRUDs and modules like internal messages, check out our quickadminpanel.com. That's it for this video and see you guys in other videos.